Today's telecast is presented live from Baltimore Scaryland and we're at b and Spike Stadium for today's game. The stadium is sold out and the atmosphere is electric. The fans want to see some hard-hitting carnage, <laughs> and so do I. I heard the city was famous for crabs, so if you get lucky tonight, Grim, make sure you take a shampoo with that quell lotion and see a doctor. Both teams hit the field ready to hit each other in this NFL matchup. The Crooks and Skull Jugulars battle the Baltimore Razors. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Hello again, everybody. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. That's me. And his mutant hobbit head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. How about you shut the fuck up? Well played, Jr. Moving on. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot one. Hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. Hot. And that is unfortunate. Hot, hot two. Hot. 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 And he just used it. And Boom! Oh, uh, come on. That was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. Third down and nine. Hot. Hot one. Hot. And he picks up four on that pass and catch. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. The return. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. First and ten. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. First and ten. First down and one. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a great turkey. And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. First down and long. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on 
Rise and attacks the ref! Forever. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. Second down and five. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly... Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. <laughs> and the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this outcrim. And four. And the defense goes for the juggler and rushes to. If he was still talking, he'd be saying, Psycho killer, Keska say. What the fu 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 fuck? Third and two. worse. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And it's first and ten. And this guy's running. This guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 He's not going down. And he finds open space. He's running toward the end zone. Turn up. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo. Bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. And the defense recovers the ball. Loose, but no cigar. Second down and more than the QB would like. Now these guys need to talk to the ref about those calls, and by talk I mean stomp them into the ground. Second down and seven. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Uh oh Crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. that one 
line there, and they come up with 10 yards on the play. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Hot two. Hot. 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 Third and two. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, do, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot. Nice run for five yards. And so at the end of the first quarter, we've got a scoreless game. Just like you love life. Second down and five. Look out, that's an all-out attack on the QB. His only chance is... It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. First and ten. That's a four-yard gain. Second down and six. It's a glitterception! What's that? And that mutant just about met his maker on that hit. I thought he was made in China. Uh, I don't see any Chinese guys down there. You're a fucking moron. Four yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. One big mutant sandwich down there. One guy's definitely toast. That's what you call a club sandwich, Grim. And it's first and ten. That was, I think, the ginormous guy is compensating for. And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And it's first and ten. First and ten. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Second down. 
down in a lot. Hot, hot one. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to fight it. <laughs> QB would like. He turned into a mutant fireball with that flame on dirty trick. And anything he touches gets floppy. Boom, dead and down. He just 
have sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. And it's first and ten. takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well. down an eight. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. that one. Let's see if they can get a return. They let the punt drop and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. And the ball is lateral to his team. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Second down and seven. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the popcorn, Grim. Zoom in on his face, and his crying. And this guy's like a human cannonball. First down, boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Talk for the first down. First down and nine. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. Yeah, for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! Yo, man, nobody can touch an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? You gotta be kidding me. My sister could have made that kick. Isn't your sister in a wheelchair? I know, right? Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. They're gonna be able to return this one. First and ten. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. We are back for the second half as the teams line up for the kickoff. The coach told his players they'll be strung up on the goalposts if they don't make this a game in the second half. That's how you motivate these pricks. <laughs> the 
teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. nothing out of it. Second down and ten. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and magnet. <laughs> oh, wow. If you're a defender, the only good QB is a dead one, Bricks. Ah, he must be pretty good then, because he is dead. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So was that cheerleader. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. And that's a nice run. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Yeah, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but yeah, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? Second down in inches. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. with me. Point 
points and they're going for two. And they run it in for two points. You know, back in the day when you scored a touchdown, you acted like a man, not some chorus girl. That's right. You looked up into the stands and murdered some big mouths who have been taunting you. Got that right. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. There aren't too many players that kids can look up to at home. I'm glad one guy is stepping up. Well, he's stepping down, too. He just stopped that play to death. Ah! Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. The defender says, I don't think so. one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Second down and ten. The receiver didn't stand a chance. The Razors win by forfeit. And more corpses line the streets of Baltimore. And just what the city needed. There's not much left of the opposition, and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. The alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Oh, how about it? How about if you shut the hell up right now? We go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.